Good morning, Spokane Valley Baptist and our online friends. Today I would like to discuss evolution. No, not this kind of evolution, rather the evolution of worship. As much as we would like to think of our worship as traditional, it was actually considered progressive not that long ago. A male-dominated King James Version, dress in your Sunday best, was less than a lifetime ago. Today we see new and spirit-filled ways to give our praises to God. Psalm 100, 1 through 5 reads, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is He who made us, and we are His people, the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name, for the Lord is good and His love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. When and how do we worship? Can we worship outdoors when we go camping? Can we worship at home while reading a devotion? Can we worship in situations that are not comfortable, like in a hospital or during times of hardship? I think most of us could answer yes to a lot, if not all of these examples. Why is it then, when we introduce something new in our Sunday worship environment, that we seem to bristle up due to changes in our routine? Here is something to ponder. If God accepts the sweet perfume of praise and worship in old and new ways, where does that leave us if we do not approve? Does praise music offend God? Do drums cancel out our worship to the Most High? Knowing why we are here makes a difference. We are not here for entertainment or our own comfort. We enter into the sanctuary to worship. As new generations come to worship, there will be new ways to do so, and we are all invited. And that, my friends, is a good thing. Many blessings to you.